Okay, so normally after opening the spaces, it should look like this, right? You may not have uh, these things here, recent files and new files. You should have new files, but not recent files. I think it looks like this, right? So one good thing we can do is we can just close it. Okay, so. And then this is how it should look like. So first of all, what is SPSS? So SPSS actually stands for Statistical Package for Social Science. But now it has just became kind of a word which we use to refer to this software. And I think it was developed in the early 90s, 1990s. In 2009, IBM bought it. And since then, they are managing it and updating it. And more or less in, in every few couple of years, they uh, introduce a new version of it. I think now we are on the SPSS version 25, I guess. Uh, more or less, uh, last five versions looks the same. So any version would work, okay? Now, Another question is who actually uses SPSS? Is it only us in, in large multinational companies, in research companies? They always use SPSS uh, for their data analysis. This is how it looks. Uh, first of all, we should know that there are two views. Data view, variable view, right? Just click on them. Data view and variable view. So what happens when we click on data view, we have this var, 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 var. And when we have variable view, we have name, type, void, decimals, label, value, missing, column, align, major, role. I really like it to do it, to get, get to know this software by doing it, you know, by playing with it. So let's say, click here, come to your data view and click here. In the data view, what we can do is we can input data, we can edit data, we can remove data. Okay, so it's about uh, editing your data. Okay, so let's add some numbers. Let's add 56, 40, 36, 35. These are some, ju these are just some numbers that I made up, but yeah, just follow me. Okay, so let's say we have put these numbers, okay? So when we started to put the numbers, you have maybe noticed that the heading here changed to var0001, right? That means variable one, okay? Let's add some more numbers in the next column. Let's, let's write one, one, so now we have four variables. Do you remember what is a variable? Variable is something that takes on values which can differ. So here we have differing numbers, differing values, right? And we have four variables. But now this looks like just some numbers without any sense, right? So we can give them some sense. I had some thought in my mind and Let's give those thoughts some reality. So let's say the first variable here is sales of a company, okay, in million dollars, okay. Second variable here is season, summer or others. When it's summer, we give one. When it's others, we give zero. Let's say the next variable here is location of a store okay when it's two large store or large city when it's one small store or a small city and let's say this one variable here is advertising ex expense okay so money is spent on advertising in million dollars okay but we cannot know about them we don't know I'm just looking here we don't know so let's give this variable some names. 
we go to variable view and here we click on var1 and we write cells okay for variable 2 we write season for variable 3 we write location for variable 4 we write adds expense now could you write it add expense with a space could you you should not be able to write with a space so this is something we should also know when we are writing some variable names we cannot have space in between okay it has to be one word we cannot have spatial characters as a starting point for instance hash adds expense we cannot have spatial characters in the beginning okay we cannot begin with a number let's say 2 adds expense we cannot begin with a number for a variable name in SPSS uh, there are many other softwares where uh, you may do this but not in SPSS each of the variable names has to be unique okay if I try to write location again it should not work okay so these are some characteristics of a variable name one more characteristics we have is that a variable name cannot have more than 64 characters okay so like here we have five characters right yeah five so a variable name cannot have more than 64 so let's write at expense we can do like this we can use underscore at expense and this should work okay so now let's say we are talking about cells season location and add expense but of whom who sells let's create another variable called company okay so we have five variables we have already we have already put some data for the four variables and but not for company right so let's just write some some names some company names yeah let's say burger burger shops Why do you think we cannot write it? Any thoughts? Let's have a look here. And again, come back to the variable view. Have a look here on the type. So we are saying that our variable type is numeric, right? Then we are, we are writing text. So we cannot do that. We have to change type. So if you click here, if you click on, on, on the type for company and then in this window here we have these options, right? And we should go for a string. So we can have, yeah, as you see we have many types we can, yeah. But normally we would mostly use numeric for numbers and a string for anything. Uh, a string could be used for anything. When you have a date as a variable you can go for date if you have money symbol dollar symbol we can use this one and honestly i haven't used others much but yeah normally these two are the most common ones numbers and a string so let's change it to a string okay and click okay and after we change it to string now we should be able to write it we can write just write whatever name you want to write it's okay okay I was trying to write Burger King but I could not why so here Burger King the you are how many how many character we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight character right if you go to the variable view and you see white we have eight characters so we cannot write more than that let's increase it a bit now we can write burger king 
okay then okay so now our data makes a bit sense right okay so we have some company names we have their cells and we have season we have location we have advertising expense right makes some sense so let's say last year McDonald's sales was this right in the last season or something like that okay their sales was 56 million dollar and their advertising expense was five million dollar and we are talking about one one of the stores not many we are talking about only the stores maybe located in the rural areas one is for rural and two is for two is for uh, city okay one more thing is that we what we can do it would be nice if we move the company name to the beginning in the in the first right so what we can do is we can simply click here when we click on the company it selects the whole column then we click it and then we move it okay so now it looks better that we have the variable uh, we have the names and then we have the sales data season location and advertising expense so what do you think what could be the dependent variable here if we want to see the relationships between things what could be the dependent variable here and what could be the independent variables here most likely cells would be the dependent variable we would like to see if season have an effect on cells we would like to see if location has an effect on cells if advertising is if advertising expense has an effect on cells right so Cells would be the dependent, and then we'll have three independent variables, right? One more thing to notice here is that these symbols, you see, this has a different symbol, and then this is a scale, a scale, a scale, a scale. Why are they different? So, the first point here we are making is that we can input data manually, right? As we have done. We have done only few, but we can input manually many data, as much as we want, right? So if we do some survey with paper, and then we can input those data manually in a species, right? 